Welcome back to the Crypto Gorilla YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about upcoming projects split into two categories. There's going to be art projects, and then there's going to be a section about anime projects. After that, we're gonna talk about the NFT market and what's going on. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion. My opinion could be wrong, so you should always do your own research before buying or selling anything. And if you like this kind of content, give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? It really helps my channel grow. Let's get into today's video. The first First project on today's list is going to be QQL. Now this is an experiment in generative collaboration by Tyler Hobbs and Dandelion Whist. While I'm not too familiar with Dandelion's work, I do know of Tyler Hobbs, as he is the creator of Fidenza, which currently has a 90 Ethereum floor, which is roughly $145,000 US, and there is 50,000 Ethereum in volume traded. Now as they said, this is going to be an experiment, because if you do hold one of these, you're going to get to participate in the creation, as they say here, it invites you to curate and co-create a generative art project. Essentially, they've created an algorithm. They're going to release it with a tool and it's going to let you select what the piece should look like. Now, unfortunately, it's going to be very difficult for most of us to get our hands on these. There's only a total of 999 mint passes. And unfortunately, 900 of them are going to be auctioned off. As we did see, Fidenza has a 90 ETH floor. So there is clearly a very high demand for Tyler Hobbs's work. If we look here, it says the mint passes will never expire. So if people have an opportunity to get a mint pass that gives you a lifetime access to Tyler Hobbs and what he does, these I expect to sell for quite a lot. However, what interests me is going to be this 99 that they don't really mention. Are they going to be doing pre-mints? Are they going to be doing giveaways or collabs? That's really what I'm interested in because that's the part that's hopefully more accessible unless they're just saving them for the team or friends and family or something like that. Maybe they'll give them away to people in the discord. They do have a discord. It is very minimal but to be determined. And as you can see here, it is going to be launching in September. The second project on today's list is going to be Industrial Melanism. Now this one is launching on Doodle Labs and it is powered by Artblocks. And it's a project around the work of Neil Grayson. Now, I'm not too familiar with Neil's work. If you look on his website, you can see he has a ton of collections. And here we have an industrial melanism collection, which does seem to be the sneak peeks that they are showing on Twitter. Now, what's interesting about this one, I spoke to the team and they told me that it's going to be on-chain interactive art. So when you hover your mouse above the art piece, it's going to change. They didn't exactly tell me how it's gonna change. I imagine that maybe the color's gonna change. Maybe these birds are gonna fly around. On some of them, there's butterflies. The butterflies are gonna fly around, but I do think that is a very cool and unique idea and it could definitely generate some buzz when this collection hits the secondary market now the other thing it's going to be a small supply 1000 or less i thought it was 1k however on the pre-mint it says less than 1000 right here less than 1000 supply which does remind me they do have a pre-mint that is currently live so if you visit their twitter you will be able to enter this you do need 0.5 ethereum in order to enter it but that will not be the mint price i did speak to them about the mint price and it is definitely not going to be point five ethereum other than that something that stands out is going to be the amount of followers that they have they're at 144,000 followers this account was created in august so it has blown up and i am seeing a lot of demand for this collection so it is definitely one you do not want to miss if you have a chance at getting whitelist the next collection on the art side of things is going to be phantom zero now this is completely different from the two previous collections that we've looked at as you can see here it's these 3d i guess wacky colorful characters. If we look at this video, hopefully nobody's getting a seizure from these flashing lights. Uh, there is a big focus on the clothing and the same goes with their collabs. They're collabing with a bunch of projects and I really like how they're doing this. Here you can see it's with Lonely Pop. They use the Lonely Pop art style for the goggles, but also the jacket. They branded it with the Lonely Pop logo and the Lonely Pop art. They did the same thing with a ton of other collections. I'm going to be having a giveaway on my Twitter. Link in the description down below if you want to follow me. And they did the same thing. They branded it with my Gorilla logo. So I was really happy to see that. Now the artist behind this is going to be Michael. I can't pronounce that. So Michael is the artist behind it. His pieces do sell for quite expensive on Super Rare, which is always a good sign. And part of the utility behind this collection is sort of like Random Character Collective, where if you hold the first piece, it's going to whitelist you for the next artist they bring on board because they do plan on having a ton of artists. And they did leak to me who the second artist is going to be. It's going to be Pascal Blanchet. 
who I'm personally a fan of his work. It's this sci-fi comic book style and I really like it. You can see a ton more pieces that haven't been sold as NFTs on his art station and he is very talented. So if you like this kind of art style, definitely a collection worth checking out. Next, if we jump on the anime side of projects, we have five different anime projects we're gonna talk about today. The first one, and in my opinion, the most hyped is going to be Ether. This is going to be a 10K collection on, I assume the Ethereum blockchain, it's called Ether. I don't know if there's a relation there. Now, although I do believe this collection will not be dropping for a while, they are doing this slow drip marketing campaign where they just release these beautiful illustrations. And I personally really like how they're doing it. They're getting a lot of reactions on them and they just look really great. Now, the artist for this collection goes by Vi. I think it's Vi, maybe it's eight in Roman numerals. I'm just gonna say Vi. Now, Vi also has some pieces on Super Rare like the previous artist that have sold for a lot of money. Now, whenever I bring up these Super Rare or Foundation artists, understand it's easy to cook this yourself, right? If I was launching a collection, I'd probably do this. I'd put art pieces, one of ones on a website, get somebody to buy them, refund that person, and then it looks like there's very high demand. I'm not saying that's at all what any of these artists are doing. I've looked into some of these purchases and some of them are profiles where the collector has a ton of pieces. I'm just saying it's always something you should keep in mind. Now, if we go back to Vi's profile, you could see here digital art and fashion. And on the super rare, there is this purse or bag. So I'm wondering, is this going to be somewhat of a play on fashion, whether it's clothing and accessories in the real world or in the metaverse? The other thing is Crypto Valley here, who was an advisor for this project, did tweet about the artist. And he said he was one of the first in the space to make fidgetals and has worked with some of the biggest projects like Artifact and also with Sony and FaZe. He also goes on to mention that Ether has been over a year in the making. So it does seem like they're cooking up a lot for this project in the background. And it is definitely one that I recommend trying your hardest to get whitelist for as I am also doing that. The second anime style project on today's list is going to be, I think this is Hitmaker. It seems like it has something to do with music. Here their location is studio as if they're in the studio. So I'm gonna call this Hitmaker. If we look here, this video, although there's no music, I feel like they missed out on an opportunity to have music. You can see that there's notes in front of this character's face. All we have to go by is the art that they've been posting. And I'm a big fan of the art, which is why it made today's list. The other thing, if you look here, Discord invites are gonna start on August 25th. By the time this video is posting, it is August 23rd, so you do still have time to get ready. Hopefully you can get in the Discord first, maybe you'll get an OG role, and that is going to guarantee you whitelist. The third project on today's anime list is going to be Undefined. Now this one, I do not have much information on. As you can see here, they did drop the first full piece of I guess a sneak peek of their NFTs, what they're gonna look like. They're also hiring a collab manager if you're looking for a job, but that's all the information we're gonna find on their Twitter. If we do hop over to their website, you can see they have a team page and it does seem like one of their team members is the ex-head of visual dev at Universal Pictures. He's worked on movies such as Transformers, The Avengers, Thor, Wolverine, and Terminator Genesis. He currently heads a studio that works with Netflix, Riot Games, and Warner Brothers. Their artist is an ex-Blizzard concept artist and I have spoken with someone behind the scenes and I can tell you that they have a ton of web 2 connections so that's another project that I would suggest following and keeping an eye on maybe you can be early enough to get yourself whitelist the final anime style project that I'm going to mention today is going to be operation Mitsubishi now no this has nothing to do with Mitsubishi the car company I did think that at first due to the handle here Mitsubishi nft they did just drop this short teaser there are no sneak peeks of the nft or anything but I can tell you that it is going going to also be an anime style as I have spoken with someone behind the scenes and I did get a quick glimpse at what the project is going to look like but that's all I can tell you about it for today but it is another one that you should be keeping an eye on. As for the markets crypto is obviously taking a huge dump once again NFTs are also crashing all the blue chips are down bad clonex are about 50% of the value of when I personally bought in. A lot of people are talking about the board ape and mutant ape floor prices and while they are quite low a lot of this does have to do with Ben DAO as there are a ton of apes that are being liquidated. People loan out their apes for Ethereum and then they're not able to pay it back or the floor price hits a certain level. I'm not 100% sure on how this works. I do just know that a ton of apes are getting liquidated. Some really nice ones are going for quite cheap. Now a project that is actually doing really well during these bear times is going to be Pudgy Penguins. A ton of people are talking about them. There's been sort of some beef on Twitter between apes and Pudgy Penguins, but I'm also seeing a lot of very well-known 
Bitcoin Ape holders supporting this project as there was just a 400 Ethereum sale for, I think this one is ranked one. As you can see, it's facing the opposite direction than all of the other penguins. Now, whenever this happens, whenever there's a lot of attention on one collection, people who don't hold it, who hold another collection, especially if it's down bad, tend to, I guess, get mad or get offended or whatever that, you know, attention isn't on their project. But I don't think the way to justify your purchase or to, you know, pump your bags is by attacking another community. It's just by building your community or being a good community member. If you have conviction in what you purchased, you shouldn't care about the noise. You shouldn't care about what other people say, what other people think. Just be happy with your purchase. But it is cool seeing this collection, which at one point was under one Ethereum, come back from the dead. You know, they ran out of money. They sold the project to Luca and Luca seems to be doing a lot of great things with it. The other day he did tweet this plushie showing that they will be making pudgy toys. And these look awesome. I really like that they went with a plushie and not like a vinyl figure. And these in stores around Christmas time, I can see a lot of kids, a lot of people wanting them, especially people who don't know what pudgy penguins are and who aren't involved in the web three space. So this is a great move on their behalf. Now, of course, we're gonna see a bunch of derivatives. The first one we saw was pudgy pepes. These were flying. I believe they hit a 0.04 floor. It's gonna be interesting to see where the price is at by the time this video drops since I film it 12 hours in advance. But of course, when there's attention on one collection, we're gonna get a ton of derivatives, but it's always a risky play going for this kind of stuff. It can either take off like the rare Pepe's did, they went to one ETH floor, or it can just be a quick pump and dump. The last project we're gonna talk about is going to be potatoes as they did finally start their staking. And of course the potatoes evolved. Now the floor did make it all the way to 1.7 prior to staking starting. In my opinion, had they launched staking two weeks ago or even one week ago when Ethereum hit 2K and there was a lot of hype in the market, I do believe these would have pumped if staking was ready. Unfortunately, it wasn't ready till now. They went down to roughly one Ethereum. However, these have been holding up quite well, especially considering market conditions. So I have four of them. My four are staked and I'm looking forward to hopefully winning some whitelists for meme land. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? Thank you for watching the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.